Ma ba da ba da 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 da. A ladder worth climbing. It's a lazy Sunday afternoon in summer, with you and Sam making the most of both kids being out of the house. You head into the pantry, taking a moment to remember when it used to be your mother's room, before coming out with the last two slices of homemade cake. It's rare for you and Sam to actually get to finish sweet things in this house, and you savor every mouthful. Just as you take your last bite, you hear the sound of the front door slamming. That'll be Charlie, back from the Go-Getters. Oh, the Go-Getters, isn't that that club I sent them to? Oops. You can hear him practically running to come find you, and he's grinning from ear to ear when he finally does. I have some really big news! You and Sam play along, sitting attentively with bated breath. Ready? Charlie asks, as you both nod enthusiastically. With a flourish, he reveals a new badge from his pocket, and proudly presents it to you both to examine, as he announces, as of today, I'm a member of the first tier of Cohesion Cadets. There's way more stuff I'm gonna do be doing, and I'll be working some weekends, but it's really cool. I forget how old this child is. I don't, this child might be a teenager, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Oh, he is a teenager. Oops, my bad. You and Sam grin back at your son. You're thrilled that he's happy and doing well. I'm a very supportive parent. If it gave me more than two... Shopping, something that always seemed so tedious before the sanctions, has become even more of a chore now. You managed to get almost everything you needed for the family this evening. But you'll have to come back tomorrow to get through the week. There's a queue to leave the car park though it's hard to make out why in the dark. Hopefully, whatever's causing it won't be long. As the final car in front of you drives off, you realize the queue is actually due to a checkpoint set up at the exit. A friendly looking man in an dense uniform, CCO blazing in a number of places on it, approaches your car and knocks on the driver's side window. You roll it down. Hey, Hine, good morning. Am I like really quiet all of a sudden? What happened? Is it my mic? <laughs> Good evening. Nothing to worry about. I was just wondering if I could see your team membership card, please. Weren't those cards supposed to be voluntary? Oh, uh, a little quiet. Yeah, I was wondering that. What happened? Like something shifted and now it's all really quiet. Test egg. <laughs> the music is rocking out. I'll just turn it up, turn this down a little. Testing, testing. It literally just happened. It was working like nice and loud and now it's uh, not working. I can tell. It's this cable, I swear. Okay. <laughs> hopefully that's a little better. I turned the music down and myself up. So hopefully that fixes it a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have one. Ah, that's not a problem. We've got forms with us right here, and we're more than happy to sign you up. The man gestures to his colleague behind him, a young woman in a similar uniform. She clearly received the short end of the stick and is stuck with the paperwork. I thought these cards weren't required. Well, strictly speaking, they're not. But there's also loads of benefits to having them, and no reason not to get one. His smile fades a bit, and when he puts a hand up to scratch the back of his neck for a moment, he leans over you. His presence now seeming a little intimidating. No thanks. It's not something I want right now. Almost instantly, the friendly demeanor is gone, and his expression is one of stern disapproval. Well, obviously I can't make you sign up, but I would strongly recommend you do. And soon. We wouldn't want people to think you had anything to hide, would we? He takes a step back and gestures for you to drive on. You're sure you see him writing something down in your rearview mirror as you head home somewhat more hurriedly than before. Clearly advanced are very keen on, any, on everyone joining the team. Sorry, I'm licking my lips. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> 
an invitation worth ignoring? It's a Saturday, one of your few days off, and you made the most of it. But as late afternoon draws on, the invitation sits pinned to the fridge, staring accusingly at you. The Channel One Gala is a mandatory work event, Bozeman was quick to tell you. Also, don't you dare be late. It's probably not wise to risk Bozeman's wrath. And also a gala? Like a ball? That sounds awesome. Best start getting ready. You wonder if Sam will be give- Oh, wait, if Sam will give you a lift. A drink or two might help with the enforced office socializing. Hopefully it won't be too bad. After all, you're pretty good at your job, right? A national news night. Oh, wait, they're gonna make me work? I fix this. Fudging microphone. <laughs> testing, testing. You arrive on time, barely, at the Sauvignon Savin, one of the oldest and grandest hotels in the capital. You're surprised to see a queue to get in, and quickly realize it's because people are being searched at the door by some very military looking personnel in smart attire. While you're waiting, you can't help but notice just how very opulent the building is. Possibly the fanciest place you've been into in your life. You submit to being patted down and, with a sigh of relief, are let into the hotel. Oh, here comes the jazz. <laughs> Once inside, you're directed to the grand ballroom. And following the signs, you marvel at the sheer scale of the place and the amount of armed security guards. When you finally arrive, a very severe looking woman at the door asks for your name. Uh, I'm Alex Winston. She currently checks her list before whispering something to the waiter beside her. You've made it just in time to be seated before dinner. Please, follow Emmanuel here to your table. The waiter smiles at you and opens one of the great double doors, gesturing for you to enter. Immediately, you can see why it's called the Grand Ballroom. You pause for a second to take it all in. You feel a slight tap on your arm, and Emmanuel gestures for you to follow him. He seats you at a table in the central floor area, with a decent view of the stage. Clearly, you're in Bozeman's good books at the moment. You're sat with some colleagues you've seen around the Channel 1 offices before you- or er, before, and don't know that well. Okay, that was a weird sentence. One of them informs you, far too excitedly, it's a very corporate evening of awards and speeches. At least the food should be good. Dinner is indeed lovely. And with the help of the, no doubt, very expensive wine, conversation flows easily enough. In fact, much to your surprise, you're actually presented with an award for Best Newcomer to the Channel One Family. Well, <laughs> this was unexpected. As you walk up to collect it, you recognize the presenter as Dr. Adrian Atkinson Blimey of Incisor's fame. He thanks Advance for sponsoring this year's gala before specifically thanking Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement for being in attendance tonight. As you take to the stage, you see the frontmost, central table, does indeed sit the Prime Ministers as well as Bozeman, Megan, and some other very well-to-do types that you don't recognize. <laughs> that explains all the security. As you're handed the award, Dr. Axton Blimey asks if you'd like to say a few words. Okay, okay, wait, here's the thing. I'm a little nervous. I can splutter out a quick praise for Advance in Channel 1, or I can make a joke thanking Dave for fleeing the country and leaving the job. That might be a harsh joke. I'm not sure, but I kind of want to do it. Most of the room breaks out into polite laughter, but you see that neither of the Prime Ministers cracks so much as a smile, and nor does Bozeman. He's too busy, frantically flipping between examining Peter and Julia for a reaction and glaring daggers at you. Eventually, they join in the light applause as Adrian ushers you back to your seat. Yep, that might not have been the smartest move. Just as you're finishing up dinner, one of the other people at your table points behind you, as you turn to see Bozeman walking briskly past with Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement in tow. You're pretty sure he was pointedly ignoring you. He seems to be introducing the Prime Ministers to a selection of people at different tables. Better them than you. You finish off the rest of the meal, listen to the last few speeches, and then head home. All in all, it was surprisingly a nice evening. You might actually look forward to the next one. Providing Bozeman invites you to that one, of course.
Like, I, I knew it was gonna be a bad thing to do, but... Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Hey, game mode. I'm so confused. So like uh, when I started the stream, there's a, uh, a bar on my OBS that tells me how loud things are. And I had it set so even my normal talking, I'm like hitting the yellow. It's not even close to the yellow anymore. Everything just got really quiet for some reason and I don't know why. <laughs> like even the, the game audio got kind of quiet. The heat wave. Uh oh. Oh, this is where I'm gonna use the fan. Mm. Hopefully the game's not too quiet. Ooh, you can see all the heat everywhere. Okay. Classical illusions are no substitute for air conditioning. Check power. You know, I genuinely thought you'd be in a better mood today. She's not even here. Yes, but he is. Our gun-toting handler. Who, Andy? I don't know it's what the fuck his name is, do I? He's here to keep us safe from people like disruption. More like keep us in line. Guns. It's fine. Give me the willies. Ten seconds, everybody. So, we've got any actual real news tonight? Well, the world's on fire. <laughs> that good enough for you? Going in five, four, three. Digital auto tracking? Good evening. I'm What's Jeremy Dawson. Evening. Our main headlines tonight. Siege mentality. The World Council today established a military blockade. Oh, it needs to power. The unjust and punitive sanctions now entering their 10th week. Um, in a statement from Team Hope uh, a short time ago, Prime Minister Julia Salisbury issued a commanding response to this unprovoked escalation. Uh, honestly, this sounds like a cool job. Illegal kind of. Imposed, we have gratefully relied upon trade and aid from our worldwide friends who, like us, what? refuse to recognize their legitimacy. What's this? Today's escalation, however, is nothing short of an act of war. Oh. We call upon our international allies to condemn this blockade absolutely. They got rid of my and phone and just gave a speaker. Country, that we are neither meek it's so creepy. Nor defenseless. Nor defenseless. Thank you. Thank you. Without a hitch, with the celebrity wedding of the year off the cards, rumors have been flying as to the why. Ever since they broke off their engagement, the separation of celebrity lovebirds Johnny Hansleaves and Tiffany Lamour has been the subject of fierce speculation in the tabloids. But earlier today, Johnny finally spoke out. Go ahead, Johnny, Johnny said he's received an outpouring of support after coming out as gay at a press conference earlier today. In a heartfelt statement, he said that despite the fear of reprisal, oh, this is my... it was time he finally shared his truth in the hope that gay young people would see that there's no shame in being a footballer. In it to win it, exciting news from advance today. This... Okay, that's the my temperature, I think. Oh no, that's my power. This is temperature. Card holders. Every month, lucky winners from across the country will this guy. He looks funny. to receive what Team HQ are describing as unique prizes worth more than money used to be. Take up on the scheme has been much higher than expected. And if you can have all the switches on, oh, I can't. Anything to go by. It looks like pretty soon everyone's going to have to have one. Okay. I guess it was just because the first one, the first time I did that, it blew. In response to the release of new pharmaceutical responsibility. Remington Smith's revolutionary male what? contraceptive pill first hit our shelves earlier this month, and as a result, scores What's wrong of with these guys? around the block and around the clock ever since. Pharmacies up and down the territory report that they are unable to meet the demand for the You're just supposed to aim the fan every- with Oh, some customers aim the fan. Outside for upwards of oh! Hours. Satisfied CEO Did not know that. Remington says they've scaled up production and will soon have manufactured oh. enough to satisfy even the randiest of consumers. <laughs> <laughs> Some men left behind. Escape craft Some construction behind. has been hampered by problems as the beleaguered scientists stuck in Dante's taint have had to make the hard oh, no. of who won't be coming back due to their new vessel's limited capacity. Despite their promising start, it's fair to say that enthusiasm for the venture has waned. 
Frayed tensions have rumored to have led to plans being rushed and big problems that I could just have realized Megan's not here. By just simply counting how many of them there are. <laughs> Stuck between a rock and a hard place, it was decided that those who would be left behind should be the best able to adapt and survive. Let's hope they don't regret leaving the marine biologists in charge of the complex. Are you following know. everything being said? Life not really. Wartime, it's really hard. As if we didn't have enough aggressors on our board. I have to like pay attention to multiple things. The government, as radical activist group Disrupt caused chaos in Parliament Park last night. Scuffles broke out after the protests, nice. resulting in multiple arrests and the injury. I don't even know what the fuck they're doing here. Advance <laughs> a to comment. The reckless fire will certainly be remembered by all those who have seen these striking images. As their actions escalate, people across the country are asking themselves, who are Disrupt? Who and are they? exactly do they want? <laughs> Other than a new box of matches, of course. All this, and I'll be talking to I'm some quite sure my son is part of that group. As well as one of the contenders in this year's Feline Football Championship and her proud owner. That's off on tonight's National Nightly News. Okay, now I gotta do this thing. Shrinky de dinky de, my little spaghetti. Huh? Oh. Oh, 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 That was fast. That was really fast. Our team of colors has been dispatched to every I think I have to restart this day. I think I have to restart this day. <laughs> oh, that got really bad really fast. I got an achievement for restarting. <laughs> that got really bad. <sighs> What's funny is when I actually uh, put these videos together to put them on YouTube, I'm going to have to cut out like all of the loading screen stuff. <laughs> the loading screen does take a little bit. Okay, I get it. I'm sweating like half horizons here. Okay, we're working on it. What, you've got someone to hose down the sun, have you? Yes, they've just strapped on their wax wings. Classical illusions are no substitute for air conditioning. You know, I genuinely thought you'd be in a better mood today. She's not even here. Yes, but he is. Our gun-toting handler. Come to Bumlins. I don't know what the fuck his name is, do I? He's here to keep us safe from people like Disrupt. More like keep us in line. I hate guns. Give me the woolies. Ten seconds, everybody. So, we've got any actual real news tonight? Well, the world's on fire. Is that good enough for you? How come Going it blew five, up the first time? Four. That was weird. Three. Good evening. Okay, I'm now I gotta go through this again. Our main Sorry about that. Tonight. Siege mentality. The World Council today established a military blockade to enforce the. Let's do it B this time. Punitive sanctions. It looks like now it's the same thing. Tenth week. In a statement from Team Headquarters a short time ago, Prime Minister Julia Salisbury issued a commanding response to this unprovoked escalation. Ever since these illegal sanctions were imposed, we have gratefully relied upon trade and aid from our worldwide friends, who, like us, refuse to recognise their legitimacy. Today's escalation, however, is nothing short of an act of war. I think it's the same thing. We call upon our international allies to condemn this blockade absolutely. And we warn aggressors to this country that we are neither meek nor defenseless. Thank you. Without a hitch, with the celebrity wedding of the year off the cards, rumors have been flying as to the why. I don't want to change Ever since everything they I've done. You know. mm -hmm. The separation of celebrity lovebirds Johnny Hansleaves and Tiffany so Lamour has been the subject of fierce speculation in the tabloids. But earlier today, Johnny finally spoke out. Johnny has said he's received an outpouring of support after coming out as gay at a press conference earlier today. In a heartfelt statement, he said that despite the fear of reprisals, it was time he finally shared his truth in the hope that gay young people would see that there's no shame in being a footballer. In it to win it, exciting news from Advance today with the announcement of a new monthly prize draw for all team membership card holders. Every month, this girl now. lucky winners from across the country will be picked at random to receive what Team HQ are describing as unique prizes worth more than money used to be. 
Take up on the scheme has been much higher than expected. And if this lucky winner's delighted face is anything to go by, it looks like pretty soon everyone's going Dude, to have fast. to have one. It's hard pill to swallow. Throngs of men take the streets in response to the release of new pharmaceutical responsibility. Remington's More of the fact too that like once it blows, it takes so long to come back. This month. And as a result, everything sucks. Men have been queuing around the block. It's like an instant kill. Clock, ever since. Pharmacies up and down the territory report that they are unable to meet the demand for the wildly popular drug, with some customers camping outside for upwards of 72 hours. Satisfied CEOs, if I'm like super worried about that. They've scaled up production and will soon have manufactured enough to satisfy even the randiest of consumers. Some men left behind. Randy. Escape craft construction has been hampered by problems as the beleaguered scientists stuck in Dante's taint have had to make the hard call of who won't be coming back due to their new vessel's limited capacity. Despite their promising start, it's fair to say that enthusiasm for the venture has waned. Frayed tensions are rumored to have led to plans being rushed and big problems that could have been avoided by just simply counting how many of them there are. Stuck between a rock and a hard place, it was decided that those who would be left behind should be the best able to adapt and survive. Howdy, Cookie. Let's hope they don't regret leaving the marine biologists in I'm doing good. How about you? Life during wartime. I'm just trying to make sure everything doesn't overheat. <laughs> Internal problems are growing for the government as radical activist group disrupt cause chaos. I want to do the other photo for this. No, I'll do the normal photo. Scuffles broke out I should do the like what I was doing before arrests, I failed. And the just bored as all hell. <laughs> oh, Soviet just bored as all. Okay, I don't know where the I got that from. Uh, so if you're talking with you, oh, thank you, striking Cookie. Images. As their actions escalate, well, why? this game country, is like hyper focused games. And what I've never exactly been more focused in my life. What? Actually, Other than take that back. Matches, if y'all ever played Cook Serve All this, and I'll be Food or whatever that game's called, fascinating I super focus in that game as too. Well as one of the contenders in this year's Feline Football Championship and her proud owner. Okay. That's up on tonight's National Nightly News. Yes, yes, yes. Did this on purpose. Okay. Okay. Been playing through Cooks Are Delicious, that's the name of it. That game is so good. Maybe I'll play it on stream. I'm not I'm not sure. But first tonight, our team of correspondents but It's one of those games every corner of the country. Shit. You see how the people of this great nation of ours are coping with this unprecedented hot weather. It's one of those games where I'm first, just like Let's go to Megan Wolf. <laughs> in Shining on Sea. To see what this scientific community has to say. Megan, how's the weather there? How's the weather there? It's absolutely glorious, Jeremy. Thank you for asking. I'm here with Dr. Anna Burns at the University of Princeford. Are you enjoying the weather as much as I am? Oh, yes, it's wonderful, isn't it? My eyelids are sweating. And you're part of a team carrying out a study right? into just right. what's causing this unbelievable heat, is that right? Yes, that's correct, yes. We want to be able to reassure the public once and for all that there's absolutely nothing to worry about and that they can enjoy their sunstroke. There's a lot more to focus on now. You sound very confident about that. Oh, very much so. I can say without any hesitation, there's really no cause for any concern here. I I've actually left my car running. <laughs> So tell us about this experiment. Ah, well, we take data from weather stations from he, all over They're the having world, a heated argument right there. Samples, and we take all that and we feed it into this state-of-the-art computer. What are these beeping? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> a high -tech readout of the room. <laughs> Blimey, that sounds very fancy. Ah, I should just say, um, uh, none of this would be possible. So I just came from the bathroom. <laughs> oh, he know. This is all thanks to oh, your oh, unrivaled oh, oh, oh. investment in our future. And may I just say, complimentary personal anecdotes. Oh, oh, here we go. And, ha, as expected, everything is absolutely fucked. Hang on. This, this can't be right. Uh, right, but uh, obviously you said a second ago that everything is absolutely fine, so... Well, actually, under concern level, it just says, Why, God, why? We should be celebrating these wonderful results, I think. <laughs> yeah? We need to evolve gills within 40 years. You look thirsty. Here it just says, 
Shit, shit, uh -oh. shit. Look at you. This is meant to be a celebration. Can't go around looking like that. Shit, shit, shit. There you go. Shit, Much shit. better. Can I just say thank you again to Sophia Remington for uh -oh. providing all of this? Everyone, we don't have long. Time is running, it's running out. out. Absolutely right. That is all we have time for. Abandon hope and return to the forest. <laughs> I'd enjoy that. <laughs> I'd like to thank Dr. Burns for just one opinion on the climate. The sea will reclaim us all! There you have it, Jeremy. <laughs> proof, if proof it, be need be, that everything is just fine. I'm Megan Wolf, here with science. Back to you. Megan Wolf, uh -oh. attending to do some actual news. Next, <laughs> head over to Robin Short. Who's He's in so Stretchford spicy about her. Of this week's team membership lottery. Robin? Thanks, Jeremy. I'm here in Scritchford with Gary Failsafe, a janitor at the local school. Pretty crazy broadcast. You can say it's radioactive. Oh, shit. Both of you were drawn at random from those who hold team membership cards to receive this week's amazing prize. How do you feel? Filled with fervent euphoria. <laughs> Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. And all yeah, that good. we had to do was fill in a quick form or okay. two. Wow, that sounds so convenient. But we're all dying to know. What have you won? That's right, Robin. I've won. Okay, okay, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Julia Salisbury at one of the capital's top restaurants. Ooh, swanky. And I've been invited to Peter Clement's house to help him dredge the gutter in. Seems like a really weird That's prize. Absolutely terrific. You must both be over the moon. I've written a poem about it. So, can you tell me about the moment when you first heard the news? Well, I was battling against a particularly he difficult also, slaughter. Oh, probably one of the six formers. He is dying from heat up there too. I was involved in a similarly brutal conflict. He's just slowly like getting sweatier and sweatier. So you were both Shiza, Shiza. turds. No, I don't like to polish them. I like to keep them intact for my collection. Oh, wait, what? What? How unexpected. <laughs> I don't polish turds. I write poetry. Potato, potato. So, Gary. Do you think Peter Clement's going to let me keep the contents we're of his We're good, we're good. What? There's no harm in asking. Is this guy just a poop collector? Like to hear one? No, thank you. Gary, when you signed up for He's team getting membership, angry was it in hopes of winning the lottery, or were there other reasons? I like a flutter, of course, but no. The boss said I had to sign up to keep coming into school. Very sensible. It's important to know who we're trusting around our children. Oh, I have an unpublished book of sonnets about children. Perhaps you'd like to hear one. <laughs> no! Or an anthology of haikus on the death of innocence. I'd rather hear about Gary's turd collection. <laughs> really? <laughs> I thought you might say that. Oh. Oh. Are you all right? What? Yes, it's coming. Right? That's what she said. Mm. It's inspiration and it's delicious. <laughs> right you are. What the fuck? Right you are. Today on the show there's no news. Just a man who keeps multiple poos. Yeah. Yeah. This big one's my favorite. See, oh! Oh! Really <laughs> <laughs> Would you encourage other people to enter for their chance to win? If it's colour you're looking for, take a gander at old blue eyes here. Ew! Take a gander at old blue eyes. The national news lost its way. When it covered some crap on a tray. Some of these are quite rare. Maybe that was unfair. And that's all we have time for today. <laughs> Back to you, Jeremy. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Jeremy. What a lucky pair they are. Uh oh, no, and they're going nuts. In this segment, oh, over she's Patrick yelling. Bannon, who's gone to the smell This would be a good one to listen to the, the behind the scenes for. Is affecting the locals. Patrick? Hello there, Jeremy. Hello, yes. I'm here live in Grizzleford, which has recently voted the smelliest town in the country. And I have to say that, you know, in this heat, the smell really is. I mean, it's, 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 it's something else. Barry Lardons, mate. You've lived here your whole life. How'd you put up with the stink? Well, we're just all very proud of our achievement, to be honest with you. You can tell that. Look at him. Proud as fuck. Do you know what it's like, son? Being the second smelliest town. No, I don't. Living in the shadow of Arsminster. Arsminster? But who's laughing what? now? Oh, oh shit! Oh, what? Not me, that's for sure. So, what happened, mate? Uh, right, the good people from Remington Fist came in and saved the day with their factory. You're talking, of course, about the newly built Flowers factory. Yeah, they gave us this big presentation Man, on jobs. Man, me not being months, able to detect swear words kind of sucks right now. We paid them whatever they wanted shit. to put it here. 
think not affect your life in every way, Barry? Okay, okay, I mean, we're good, we're good. Fulfilling in a tax return or completing the physical act of love. It's <laughs> good. At first, but you get used to it after several weeks of your first bout. So much focus. The judges were very impressed. So, oh, what, what, what's the sickness? Uh, oh, that's nothing to worry about. It takes a few minutes before you develop any symptoms. What? <laughs> Now, folk are saying something about the production line and how they dump carcasses directly into the water main, but I think it's probably a few valves on the high street. On the high street? Uh, should I see a doctor? What, what are the symptoms? Well, the first one is asking stupid questions. <laughs> then folk experience a lot of inhibition. Fuck off, do they? When was the last time you brushed your teeth, you stinking old tramp? <laughs> oh, and next according is a period of randomly bursting into song, followed immediately by delusions of grandeur. Oh, that's not really a problem, I've never sung in my life. Hello, it's sexy Patrick Bannon, and he's wearing sexy shorts now. Oh my god, look at me. I'm like a stallion. I'm gorgeous. Why didn't you tell me? I should take my shirt off. You know what? I'll even let you touch me if you want. Huh? Uh, oh, oh that, no. That will be the bout of undeserved self-confidence. <laughs> Love the Bannon. Feel the Bannon. <laughs> this guy is great. Oh, I like him. And the on we. <laughs> All is left that's now what that word is? are the hallucinations and unconsciousness. No, no, Dotty. Was that you? Why are you made out of elbows? You know I don't eat opinions. He is dead inside. And he's dead. Ooh, don't worry, <laughs> folks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Once he wakes up, he'll be just fine. We'll just find a place to stick him where it won't matter how many times he evacuates his bowels. Right. That's all here from Grizzleford, a town that's really making a stink. I'm Barry Lardons. Back to you, Jeremy. Thanks, Baron. With a naval blockade being set up around our coastline as we speak, when we come back, I'll be talking to three members of the general public who appear to be here purely for medical reasons. Don't go away. Unless, of course, you've got something better to do. We'll be back after these messages. One minute back. This next section features a potentially controversial guest. Advance may request some censorship if he goes too off topic. Oh, it's from here. And I can't do this anymore. Yes. Every Friday. Yes, yes, yes. Where'd the tape go? Jeremy. My mic is still. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Come on. I have to. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what I'm talking about. Ah. Football? We should be doing an interview with the war minister or a report from Grantham Downs. Even the weather would be more fucking relevant than this. Jeremy, please, just breathe. It's just something like to keep people's minds off it. I'm not censoring exactly. anything. Well, I'll censor swear words, but that's it. Christ, it's so fucking hot. Please take your seat. That's what's in my contract. I can't do this anymore, Jenny. I've had enough. That's it. This is just Ten seconds. Get over yourself, Jeremy. Why don't you stop feeling sorry for yourself for five? Five, four, three. Welcome back to, to the National Nightly News Welcome with me, your host, Jeremy Donaldson. Later, we'll be talking to the captain of the territory's first cap football team, Professor Pumpkin. But first, I'm joined by three guests with some balmy bodily behaviours. Joining me is a woman who's been hiccuping for over nine months. Isn't that right, Miss Piercy? Yes, that's right. <laughs> yes. Tell us, what brought all this on? Well, it's all a bit He's of a so done. Blur, Jeremy, to be totally frank with you. So I was watching your show and I remember seeing the news about the election and it, it, it hasn't stopped since. <laughs> Fascinating stuff. Also here is Frankie Steampipe. Um, perhaps you could explain to us exactly what your physiological foreboil is. I'm here to say it's high time people like me were respected. We're constantly overlooked in the workplace, we're whispered about on buses, and we're asked politely to leave children's birthday parties. Huh? And it's disgusting. <laughs> uh, I, uh... 
I'm sorry, my bowels have comic timing. And finally, I'm joined by a man who answers every question honestly, even when it isn't aimed at him. How do you cope with that, Mr. Truman? With a combination of booze, self-hatred, and hardcore pornography. Is that it? Oh, okay, that's not a bad word. <laughs> well, in that case, uh, let's speak to Rose. Tell me, how does the hiccuping impact you? I get shushed a lot, which is hard. <laughs> hard. At work, they've asked me to, uh, to stop. That one sounded like she choked herself. <laughs> well, I find it really fucking irritating. Do people tend to believe your story? Fuck no. Actually, I've been surprised at how much support I've received. <laughs> <laughs> but is it hiccups, farts, and swears? Why you come here today? Because my wife left me, and I was hoping that the fame would win her back. We've started a group for people with ailments deemed broadly comical by society. It's called Take Us. Seriously. That's right. And we, we bloody well mean it. <laughs> and who's joined so far? A bunch of fucking losers. It's just us so far. And how much success have you had? Well, we've seen some real positive changes. I don't want to toot my own horn, but it's been a runaway success. Shit all. Not a single person come to our fun run, and all of our leaflets fell in the canal. <laughs> Well, Miss Piercy, um, some people are saying your condition was actually caused by the shocking events of that night. What do you think? I've come down, Mr. Donaldson. That's absolute rubbish. What would it be like to have a pair of tits? <laughs> Could you? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's very hot. What was I thinking? That you're a team fuck puppet? No. Or a sellout cunt? <laughs> Apologies. Just a reminder that he can't help it. And hey, if this isn't live television, then what is it? Fuck fest of propaganda masquerading as journalism. <laughs> Great, Frankie Rose, tell us, how can the viewers get involved with your cause? Oh, no. Yes, we're holding a, a sponsored run in um, Capitol <laughs> the Park. Getting uh, wisdom teeth in the bin. Oh, my God. No smiles, 13. I hope no, everything comes out smoothly. No, no, no. Half. What did Just I saying, I had my wisdom teeth removed, so I hope everything goes really good. <laughs> wow, good luck, Kine. Like what a harmless bit of fun. Uh oh, he's getting kicked out. Steady on! This is exactly what I'm talking about. We demand respect! Ah, oh, yes, well, later, I'll be talking to <laughs> Professor Pumpkin. A ginger tabby with a one class for the penalty pause. Is that really necessary? No, it isn't. Let go! <laughs> Not you! Unhand him at once! Yes, you are! Oh, enough! That's enough! Oh, that's enough! <laughs> enough. Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing? I'm trying not to piss myself. Alex, cut the Don't you dare! Don't you fucking dare cut to the ads before I tell you to. Now, you in the broadcast centre. Bozeman's Lost Cape Home. You listen to me. You cut to the ads before I tell you to, and I will kill every single person in this studio. I have, I have the power. About what I'm doing. I've been thinking about it for a long time. We all should be. Christ, it's so fucking hot in here. Do you remember when we used to do the real news? <laughs> I'm still swearing. Bloody cat football! We are on the brink of a siege, the likes of which the world hasn't seen in hundreds of years. The enemy is at the gates, and I'm stuck here talking to these three fucking idiots. I think my hiccups have stopped. You three, get the fuck out of my studio. Go on now, go. Before I change my mind. Before I change my mind. Jenny, lock the doors. Jenny, lock. The doors. Yes, Jeremy. The doors. Now. Good. Yes. Now. Good. Right. Yes. You in the broadcast centre. You in the broadcast Alex. You listen to me. You pay attention. Now. I'm sure you've already loaded up exactly what you're going to play in the commercial. Yes, I, I did. Today's going to be a little bit different. Look to your right. Yes. Oh, I already put that in. Look to your right. There is a VHS tape. I already did it. Load it into one of your machines. And when I say so, and not before, you play it. You've got about 15 seconds, so I wouldn't waste any time. Now, all cameras. I assure you I'm replaying that tape. This station does not negotiate with terrorists. I hope I've made myself clear. You seem to know what to do. Every single thing that comes out of this studio is either one-sided or for now. We're going to show the other side for you. For a bit of fucking balance. And the good old days. Alex, play the fucking tape. I don't want to hurt any of you. If I see anything I don't like, I will not hesitate to start by killing this man. Oh, Alex, you're going to get me in 
He's gonna be through the roof. You've heard them talk about us on this the is the video thing. We are disrupt. We are the resistance. And it's time you knew the truth. You know if I answer lying to you. I wanted to know this you so know bad. The elderly are not a burden. You know the rich were not all evil. And you know the team membership card is an ID card. No matter what they try to tell you. But why should you trust us? Another faceless organization. A shadowy figure with a distorted voice. You've seen it so many times in the movies. Well, this is not a movie. <laughs> My name is Alan James. I used to try and shock people for a living. For entertainment. It's Alan James! But now we live in a time where perhaps you need to be shocked. Perhaps we need to wake up. Advance are coming for our freedoms. They are coming for the fruits of our labours. They will take our wealth. They will euthanise our parents and smiling throughout. They will turn our children against us if we voice our concerns. But we don't have to accept it. A great many people already won't. You can resist. You can disrupt. Find us. Talk with us. Oh God. Join us. It isn't hard. We're everywhere. He's been speaking the true true like this entire time. I mean, some of it was. I had speech, sure. But this. This was unexpected. So, what now, Jeremy? What did he just drop on the floor? It was supposed to be your day off. It was supposed to be your day off. Please, don't do any more stupid things today. Don't do any more How long, Jenny? How long? You already lied. Welcome back to the National Mighty News. I love this. Joining me. Did it get quiet though? Oh, I very much imagine we might last. Hold on. It just got quiet again. What the fuck? Okay, resume. Cast are two new guests. I can't turn it up anymore. Jenny works here at the National Nightly News, and is someone I consider. Well, a friend. And next to her is. And next to her is. What's your name? Andy. What's your name? Andy's a policeman. Only Andy. we don't call him that anymore. Look at my ratings, they're off the charts. He's officer. Sorry? It's um it's community cohesion officer CCO. And how's that feel, Andy? Being rebranded? It's uh it's good. <laughs> it's it's not about confrontation anymore. You know, the the force had its fair share of problems. The uh the team doesn't have as many. But it still has some. Oh, I couldn't say. Couldn't or wouldn't? I thought someone was standing there for a minute. Was just Christ, you're fucking useless, aren't you? Christ. We'll come back to you later. I'm still censoring. Jenny? I'm back to you later. I don't Jenny? want to be on the news, Jeremy. That's perfectly understandable. You'd want to do this. Oh my god. Jenny. Why did you join the National Miami News Team? Why did you join the National Miami News Team? I always wanted to work in news. Yes, but why specifically this program? Yes, but why the National this Nightly News Which is funny because it's during the day. It was the news everyone trusted. Was. Was. Is. Do you really want to quibble semantics at gunpoint? Really is there something else you'd rather discuss? Is there something else you'd rather discuss? There's a great big Alan Jane sized elephant in the room you seem to be ignoring. What do you mean? Saw your face when that hood came down. You didn't know, did you? It's about the message, not the messenger. Like I said, you didn't know. Messenger. Is it no. bad that's Alan James? I didn't know. No. He's zooming the people in on I met were with. He wasn't there. <laughs> I didn't know it was Alan James. I'm sorry. But seriously, Alan. Fucking James. You're flushing your life down the toilet. For... God, I love you, Jeremy. But... <gasps> They love each He's other. A good speaker. He's a good speaker. He's popular in the country. He's popular in the country. That right. That right. Look, forget Alan James. There is still forget something Alan. deeply wrong. God, I love how this game's and you made. Know it, Jenny, and you know it, Andy. And you know it, Jenny. And you, you are home. You know it too. And you, you are 
Meanwhile, I'm interviewing a guest who stinks of shit. Patrick is paddling about in shit. And Robin, Robin is literally interviewing someone who collects the fucking stuff. That's actually really true. I mean, it's not sophisticated, but what a matter for. It was all shit. We are sleepwalking our way into oppression, and the news isn't saying anything. We're not saying anything. Says who? I fucking dare. What are all those scientists working on at Grantham Downs? What are they testing underground at Altergrave? Andy, your turn. Make yourself fucking useful. How many people have you brought in for consultations just because they weren't carrying or didn't have team membership cards? Oh, well, there's other forms of identification that we will accept. For how long? We're just here to help. Then why do you need these? Then why do you need these? Not really help when it's offered at gunpoint, is it, Andy? Let me demonstrate it for you. Let me help you. Let me help you. You eat these cards of my notes on it, and you'll probably digest a fact. That'd be helpful, wouldn't it, Andy? Knowing a fact? I don't Do you want my help, Andy? Yes, yes, whatever you say, yes. Security are here, Jeremy. Eat it. What? Eat the fucking news, Andy, or I'll force it down your fucking throat. Stop. Go on. Really? Eat it! Eat it, you fucking bully! Jeremy, stop! They will kill you. Please, don't make me watch that. Of course. You're right. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, everyone. You can put the card down now, Andy. You can put the card down now. He was gonna eat it. You can go now. You too, Jenny. Fuck off over there. You too, Jenny. Fuck off over there. Then you're only done. Oh no. All cameras oh, no. on me. All cameras on me. This new regime of ours is so this new regime of ours seductive. Is so I understand that. But before oh, we no. hand off our freedoms, should we ask to whom we're handing them over? Don't you want to know what's being done in your name? How many people were transitioned last month? A record high. Again, if you care. Shouldn't someone ask advance how they plan to deal with this blockade? How many years or months of I ain't blocking shit. Why aren't we asking these questions instead of who shit is this? There's a cat backstage. Fuck, I missed that one. Dolly, for Christ's sake. He's even got the little gloves. He's even got the little gloves. Anyway, this guy's such a good actor. That's actor. why I arranged for you to see that broadcast from the last break. I didn't know it was going to be him, I didn't know but I guess that just him. about sums it up. We are all up Ship Creek with a paddle made of Alan fucking James. Christ is also <laughs> fucking pointless. Christ is also <laughs> pointless. I was going to quit tonight. Oh no. Take a holiday. Try something else. Out of the limelight. Try Maybe try having a relationship. I hear they're nice. Never tried. I. I. I loved the news. And now, well. Oh, Jeremy, don't. I've tried my best to be honest with you, but this just isn't the news anymore. Jeremy, no. I'm not sure. I've lost this fight. Alex, think of the consequences. I'll let you down. Please, we can't show this cut to the end. I don't want him to die. I didn't want him to die, so I just switched. Hopefully that was okay. Oh, that got really dark really fast. What would have happened though if you didn't? Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, new challenge unlocked. You either die here, achievement unlocked. You either die here or the man behind the hood. Oh, okay. Ooh, these are good ratings. Oh my gosh. Oh, great ratings. It's almost like a person with a gun. <laughs> you receive a small bonus. Current wealth, worrying debt too. Not quite breaking even. Oh, that's still not good. God, I was really broke before then. Oh God. Nice. Okay, which one was it? Was it this one? 
I just want to see these because there, there was a lot of stuff in the background that I didn't get to hear. Dude, who knew the news was going to have so much drama? <laughs> All this, and I'll be talking to some people with fascinating medical conditions, as well as... And after that, I'll be asking my own thumb what it thinks about the global financial situation, as well as what three members of the general public think about how a nuclear reactor might work. Could you be a little more dismissive in your delivery? I think there's a viewer out there somewhere who missed it. Viewers? We still have some of those, do we? Perhaps they're hoping to run into a fact. Jeremy, get hmm. it together. Don't give Bozeman any more ammunition. Yes, yes. Coming back from it the didn't say he was at the celebration, by the way. Uh, really not my type. Oh. <laughs> oh, go, go on then. She's talking about sex on the beach, the drink. But just the one. I am supposed to be working. First, let's go to Megan Wolf in Shining on Sea to see what this scientific human... Okay. You sound oh, very wait. Okay, wait, wait. Mute her. Megan, mute him. how's the weather there? <laughs> it's absolutely glorious, Jeremy. Thank you for asking. Are you fucking kidding me? She's on a beach with a fucking cocktail with what looks suspiciously like actual news. Would you rather she was here with you? Because that's been going so well recently. No, no, I don't want that either. What I want is, well, never mind. Right now, I'd happily settle for a desk fan. Bozeman will never approve it. Do you know they have dinner together? Who? Bozeman and Megan, and Bozeman's wife, who is lovely, apparently. Who would have thought it? Bozeman managed to persuade some poor, hapless victim to shackle themselves to his ego. Your mic's still live. And I have met Bozeman's wife, and she is lovely, actually. What do you mean you've met Bozeman's wife? How come you've met her? I don't even know she exists. Because in the eight years I've worked with you, I've never seen you attend a single workplace social event. Ah, that explains I it. them, they're agonising. Yes, imagine the horror of spending an evening with your colleagues. I want to spend an evening with that fucking rapper. Do you remember when you used to be fun? Yes, it was about the last time we did the actual news, wasn't it? Before your lot turned into this shit. Lot? I'm sorry. My lot? Well, it's not my fault, is it? Why are you even here today? I mean, it's supposed to be your day off. I am not talking to you. Oof. So he was having a slow breakdown this entire day. And this is where he probably started thinking, you know what? I'm fucking done. Some makeup. Didn't you like, I don't know, wipe the sweat first before the makeup? What is that noise? Go, 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 go! <laughs> go! Could you... Well, there just... you have it, Jeremy. <laughs> proof, if proof be need be, that I've everything is just fine. I've actually been writing about I'm the Megan moment Wolf. we'd finally meet Robin. Back to you. <laughs> it's in I Am Becoming Megan Wolf there, attempting oh. to do some actual news. Next, actual news. it's over to Robin Short, who's in Scritchford with some of the winners she of this week's team membership family. lottery. Robin? Hi, Jeremy. I'm here in Scritchford with Guy Farfetch. A janitor at the local... Has anyone seen Jenny? Jenny! Wait, wait. What was she talking about in the corner? Back to you. Megan Warfare, attempting to do some actual news. Well, off you go then. Shoo, shoo. Why are you doing this? <sighs> you know, for a smart person, you're really thick. People want their flards more than they want their planet. Is it true Sophia Remington pays for your tennis lessons? If you excuse me, I have to go and work on my serve. Oof. Can I get a refill, please? Oof. I know you can hear me. Don't you walk away from me. Jenny! Oh no.
takes his coat off. Job, but can I get a refill, please? Look, I... I know it's not your job, and I don't want to come over entitled like a certain co-host of mine, but my throat is dry, and I have to be sit here, sat here, until the inevitable clusterfuck of an interview that is this, Gary the Shit Collector, comes to an end. So, if you wouldn't mind, please. Well, go on, then. Thank you. Getting sweatier and sweatier. Finally in this segment, it's over to Patrick Bass. Oh! I'm sorry, I might have got a bit carried away, all right. No, no, not you. You, yes, you! Get out of my face! Oh, jeez. This one's called a study in corn. Ew! <laughs> my God, have you finally found someone in a worse situation than you? I'm picking up that you might be somewhat annoyed with me. For your information, Jeremy, All of me this was in the background. aren't the for reason there's no real sake. news left. I put plenty of ideas forward, but they always wow. get squashed up the chain. Fucking Bozeman. No, not Bozeman. Further up. Ooh, Ooh. tell me more. I shouldn't have even said that. Ooh. <coughs> Farther up, well, huh? Well, 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 Patrick. Who's not looking presentable now, eh? Fucking awesome. <laughs> he hates Patrick. <laughs> More makeup. Makeup, 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 makeup. Looking angry. Old oh, tramp, are we really gonna let this continue? Oh, Patrick, why? <laughs> no, you shouldn't. <laughs> He's taking his shirt off on national news. Shouldn't we cut away? Nope, I did not. Take off that shirt, Bozeman. Oh wait, his name's Banner. <laughs> Patrick Banner. He looks so oh, uninterested. He's actually unconscious. Are we gonna come back now? Okay. Uh, I'm Barry Lardongs. Back to, to you, you, Jeremy. Okay. Don't go away. Unless we'll be back to do. after these messages. One minute back. Well, that was stupid, even for you. I don't care. It's done. I am done. It's 200 fucking He's degrees done. in here. And I can't do this anymore. You say this every Friday. I've done something. What do you mean? Jeremy? Uh oh. My mic is still alive. That was when I got the the second tape, which I looked at on accident before he even told me, but you know how it goes. Boiling point. Dude, this was like the craziest the craziest one by far. I loved it so much. That's what I'm talking about? Cat football? We should be doing an interview with the war minister or a report from Grantham Downs. Even the weather would be more fucking relevant than this. Jeremy, please, just breathe. It's just something like to keep people's minds off things. Exactly, which is wrong. People's minds should be very much on things. Christ, it's so fucking hot! Please take your seats as quickly as you can. His eyes got really I can't wide. Do this anymore, Jenny. I've had enough. That's it. This is just ten too seconds. Far. Get over yourself, Jeremy. Why don't you stop feeling sorry for yourself for five fucking five, four, three? Welcome back to 
to the National Nightly News with me, your host, Jeremy Donaldson. Okay. Through most of this, I don't have to listen to you. It's basically hiccup, fart, and swearing. Hiccup, fart, and swearing. Hiccup, fart, and swearing. And then he goes nuts. Oh! Not you! Unhand him at once! It's not! Oh, enough! That's enough! <laughs> Try not to piss myself. Alex, <laughs> don't you dare! Try not don't to you piss fucking dare, Captain Captain Alex, before I tell you to. Now. God, that was so good. Okay, let's. I want to see if something happens at the end, or if it cuts it right where I cut it. Okay, so that's where I cut it to go to this. So I had a commercial break right there. The one that he told me to do. I don't think it's gonna show me. I don't think it's gonna show me. I really hope he's alive. I really hope he's alive. <laughs> How long? Oops. Let's mute three of these. Otherwise it's gonna be ungodly loud. I was so hoping the guy Andy would eat the cards. <laughs> oh. That was so tense. What was that noise? For this blockade? How many years or months of- I love the way he said the little goalie gloves. Months of supplies we have? Why aren't we asking these questions instead of whose shit is this? There's a cat backstage dressed as a fucking goalie for Christ's sake. He's even got the little gloves. I love the way he says that. I love his voice. His voice is really good. Imagine That's eating the cards and then someone messes up. The last break. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be him, but I guess. It's probably going to end right when I quit it. Oh, the ads. I'm happy I was already on the screen. Ads. Cut to the ads. I've let you down. Please, we can't show oh, cut to the Okay, I, it does cut it right where. So hopefully he's alive. Hopefully he's alive, right?